Yes, guys. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another Jonah 101 podcast. I am very excited today as I feel like this is probably one of the biggest ones we've done to date. Uh, we have an amazing guest. I've got my two legends with me, Jules and Shane. Uh, and I've got an incredible guest for you today, guys. What a podcast. Make sure you stick around for this one. Today's guest, guys, is one of the best left backs to ever play the game. A man who has won three Premier League titles, an FA Cup, two English clubs, two English Cups, sorry, has played, in, played for two of the biggest clubs in the world in Arsenal and Man City, and he's also earned 22 caps for the national team. He's played in the Champions League final, World Cup, in the Euros, and is now still playing in Turkey. Welcome to the Jonah One podcast, Gail Kalishi. Welcome, Gail. Gail. Yes. Hello, guys. Thank you for having me. Oh, you're welcome, Pleasure. mate. You're a, you're, you're, you're a follower of Jonah 101. I think my first question is, how did you come across Jonah 101 football training? Uh, well, uh, as you know, you know, I'm getting to the end of my career. So uh, you start to, uh, you know, usually players, when they're young, they don't really think about coaching. And then, obviously, when you start to get toward the end and uh, you start to see that uh, the interest from other people is getting lower you start to think about what you could do you know after your career and then uh, you know with this magic tool that we have instagram uh, you're about to see anything that you like so i started to follow a few people that i know who are coaching and then i just uh, uh it just happened that you came onto my screen and then i was like I was impressed because it reminded me a lot of um, what we used to do at Arsenal uh, with Arsene Wenger. Wow. And uh, I'm from, you know, the free formation, you know, in France. And we have that philosophy of touching the ball as many times as you can during each exercise. And so I, I look at the first video, then I look at the second video. And then I was like, wow, you know, that's uh, uh, if I have to become a coach, that would be probably the first step for me, you know, to do some uh, some some session like this. And I think it's perfect. You know, it's like. Uh, Warm up. It could be a cardio session. It could be a, a full session, and and uh, so then I just followed you guys, and uh, yeah, I, I'm really impressed, and I'm um, I like what I see, and uh, if I'm honest, I've been you know taking some ideas from you guys, and uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's a pleasure to watch. Honestly, it's a, it's a pleasure because you know the, the exercises are great, but also you know the way you guys are coaching the the, the the kids. I mean, you know, for any coach, big older coach, young coach is a uh, is great example, guys. So uh, credit to you. Wow, thank wow. you very much. I can't believe Legend. you just compared us to uh, to <laughs> Arsenal, mate. And Arsenal. Jesus, that's, that's, uh... No, that was... But that's the first thing, you know, we used to have a coach. I mean, he used to have a coach called... Uh, a fitness coach who was doing the warm-up and uh, he was doing also when player was coming back from, from injuries. His name was Tony Corbett and he was all about mannequins, move your feet, touch the ball as much as possible and, and until you go through a session with this guy where he felt that you were clean enough with the ball, one touch, two touches, long ball, short pass, uh, wow. change direction, check your back. Then you were, until he says, yes, he's ready. You know, you couldn't go back into the, the group session with the, with, the, with the team. So he just, you know, brought me back to that time. And I was like, I like these guys, you know. <laughs> well, thank you <laughs> so that, much, man. mate. I remember Shane. I remember Shane messaging me one day and saying, "Lee, you need to check your inboxes." Uh, Gail Cleishy's responded to one of them. I was like, "Sorry, Gail Cleishy." It's just, yeah, we've got a, got a couple of professionals that follow us now. But yeah, thank you so much for your support, mate. And what you're saying there is, it's just, yeah, it's, it's amazing, really, because we're just three passionate coaches that love the game just like you do. Uh, we love giving back to the kids, you know. And there's some really good talent in Australia and. I'm sure they're going to value your opinion, mate. So, yeah, that, that's, that's amazing. Thank you so much for your support. Well, we, we all hear, you know, you can learn from anyone. And uh, it's not about how big you were as a player or how good you are as a coach. You can always, you know, learn. And if I'm honest with you guys, there is a lot of coach, you know, that I've met in my career that could, could use you guys, you know, in, in the staff because that's uh, Patrick Vieira, as someone similar like you, you know, with the same desire and the same attitude uh, his name is christian i think he's, he's uh if you check on nice uh instagram you know the, the club where vera is you will you will find him he's a blue guy and 
just remind me of you guys. And uh, honestly, I don't know what's your what the future holds for you guys, but from what I'm seeing, you know, you well, you could do pretty much anything you want. Uh, so, uh, well, I am. But anyway, so Christian Christian Wilson is that's the guy you're speaking mm -hmm. about. So exactly, I, I work with Christian Wilson when I was at um, Sheffield United. So that's where there he's on. He's going to come on. Hopefully, uh, I have to speak to him, but he's going to come on um, and have a chat with us as well. But he was probably the first guy that I ever seen at a football club that taught about that um, way of coaching a little bit different, you know, where he'd work more with individual players rather than the team. Exactly. And, and I guess that's why we're obviously doing what we do is to work with individuals rather than obviously a collective team. But, but you see, that's, that's, that's funny that you, you talk about him because um, he's a new coach. He's not even first team manager. And um, I trained a few, few times when, when they were at uh, City with the reserve team. And I wouldn't say that the, the few times I trained with them was the best session I did because, you know, I mean, I had Mancini, I had Pellegrini, I had Guardiola. So that would be a little bit, you know, uh, too much to say. But those two sessions, three sessions, really you know, stayed in me and, and this guy, especially, you know, you have to be a group to make a great session, but this guy was, you know, he, he gave me one, you know, we were doing the session and, and, and maybe the exercise was a little bit easy for me. So I was, I wasn't doing any mistakes, but then he came to me and he told me, I see you. And I was like, well, yeah, I can see you too. He said, no, I see you. I know you're here, but you're not here. And, you know, I was thinking about something. So I was doing this. I was doing the session because, you know, I'm, I'm about to do it. I've got qualities. But he wanted me to be here right now, you know. So he wanted my body language to, to be different. And those kind of things just stays in me because I'm, I'm that kind of guy. You know, I've never been that guy that is like Messi or Ronaldo who can, you know, do whatever he wants. I had to work a lot and I had to be focused and conscious of anything that I was doing on the football pitch, outside the football pitch. And this, this guy in just a few years just touched me in a way that not many did. And that was only in a few sessions, you know, so I'm still wow. in touch with him uh, today. And uh, I'm not surprised that, you know, you, you, you know him and that uh, that's the way you're working because it's very similar. We'll have yeah, to get him def on, Shane. Definitely. He's on the list, so we're, we're definitely going to try and get Christian on because um, he's a really good lad and, um, like, he's all about helping players. Whatever age and level, he's there to help, you know, so... It's brilliant. Yeah, like, I just hope that you can uh, understand my accent and Shane's accent. Um, we were discussing right. about, <laughs> you know, trying to slow down our, <laughs> our talking. But. So that tells you how much I wanted it, you know. I was watching Ashley Cole, Pires, Henry, Burkham. The way they conduct themselves, I was taking beats. Is it better to be the star in a smaller club or being a number in a big club? I play, and that's where you say, you know, you have to grab your chance. I play amazing, and I'm the best player in my, in my, in my team. We, we go, go to the semi-final, we lose, but then people see me. Football brought me so many things, you know. I can take care mm -hmm. of my family, and, 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 and this is a great thing. But to be able to go to work with a smile on my face since I was 16, you know, you cannot ask for anything better, you know. Really. You had people like, you know, Dennis Bergkamp, uh, wow. Nyanko Kanu, you know. Those wow. players were just unreal, you know. We don't think about him, but he was unreal. And, and, and obviously, you have the king, you know, the king. And all my wall in my bedroom, posters of him. Like, <laughs> I'm not joking, you know. He's from the same <laughs> island, Caribbean, that I am, with my parents, with my dad. It's not only me. All the boys from this island in France are mad about this guy, you know. And I'm like, what's going to happen, you know? And what's going to happen is that, you know, I'm going to train with him and he's going to become my friend. For me, Arsenal back then, for us in France, changed the Premier League, you know. Henry, Vieira, Pires, Campbell, Arsene Wenger. So the first day I go into the dressing room is a simple day. I go there. They tell me you're going to get 22, number 22. They could have given me the number 120 would have been fine <laughs> i sit in the dressing room and then i look around and i see that all the numbers so it starts with one two three four five and it goes like this so i straight away i'm thinking who is 21 it was pennant i didn't know him uh, i didn't know him at the time and 23 was campbell so obviously when Arsene wenger came to Cannes to meet us yeah and we had a dinner with my, my dad and my mom and he was there 
he was talking and obviously you know as, as as a 15 years old you think 16 years old you think how can i not go there and what i'm going to tell you now will make you realize what this team was about yes guys head over to the jonah 101 podcast on apple itunes spotify and soundcloud to listen to the part one of gail cliche he gives us an insight into his football career how he came across jonah 101 football training joining arsenal meeting arson wenger and being part of the invincibles don't miss it <laughs>